The motherfucking world is a ghetto Full of magazines, full clips and heavy metal When the smoke settle I'm just looking for a big yellow It's six inch stilettos Egos and machismo are in the air tonight The competition for the prison's weightlifting championship is about to begin. And not salt, so this is our kind of way here in the gym. You know, when we have our bad days, you know, we just come in here and we'll release that pain because we don't want to release it on no inmates, you know what I'm saying? State champ? I ain't the champ for nothing. You got some of the hardcore dudes in prison, you know. And everybody want to be the man in prison, really. You know what I'm saying? They want to shine and want the big name, you know. I'm Good lockout. I got money, good on I got money, good There we go. Good death. Bring it up. Go to Racket. I refuse to lose. Good job. Good concentration. Yes, sir. Squat. Down we go. Good day. Right now, I feel powerful. I feel positive. And I don't feel that there's anybody in this prison in my weight class that could uh, outlift me in any other, in any given day. Squat. He's that myself I, I like that part of it because uh, in here in here it's just it's not white and black it's we're all together that's the whole experience inside of me baby you know what I'm talking about don't look at Hank look at what God can do in any man's life he always gets fired up he gets all the rest of them fired up too when he does that I've seen some guys break their backs on the street and in prison uh, doing squats squats there we go come on Day two of the prison's annual weightlifting championship is underway. Rebel Gibbons holds the state prison's record for the bench press in the 220-pound division. He's going for 420 pounds, five pounds above his state record. I gotta wait for the uh, judges to say right. All the yelling going around, I couldn't really hear him say it. This may be a sporting event, but the participants are far from ordinary. In this weight room, there are murderers, armed robbers, rapists, and standover thugs. This is a dangerous room, because if somebody gets out of line and don't care, you take a five pound plate and knock you out, you know, you're done. And it's never happened yet. Nobody's, nobody's used one. We had a guy come out of the basketball court one time, took a plate and was heading out the door with it. We stopped him. He was going to go out there and use it as a weapon. Bell got into it with a fellow over there, and I went and got right in them, between them, and I probably shouldn't have. They were, they were like face off to each other and doing this thing, you know, and I... Uh, I, I stopped that because they, they were both big guys. One, two, three. That day he was mad. I knew if I didn't go over and get between them two guys and they got hooked up, I was going to have to call in troops because <laughs> I, I wouldn't have been able to handle it. But he, he backed off. But, uh, you know, once they got started, you couldn't stop them. Waiting for the signal. Here we go. Full lock down. Pause. We've got the press signal. Weightlifting, a lot of officers would like to take it out because they think if they get big, 
But a big, a big old tired weightlifter is a lot less of a threat than a little skinny guy who's out there doing nothing. Bell and Gibbons come in here and for an hour and a half just give it all they got. They don't have enough energy to get into any trouble when they leave here.